is 6 o'clock. It is Friday night, and that means it's time for more Dragons and Stuff. Welcome to this week's 19th episode. That is that is pretty crazy. Almost two weeks. That's, That's impressive. Crazy. Nonsense. It's, it's crazy that you guys have stuck with us for so long. Why after. did you do when that? You, when you could have been watching Dragons and Things, I mean, this whole time. Um, no. No, but seriously though, thank you for joining us once again. Uh, if you're on Twitch, thanks for watching us. If you want to actually chat with us and hang out with uh, our fans and, and, and be a part of the amazingness, you should head over to facebook.com slash dragons and stuff because then we will be able to see your comments, we will be able to interact with you. But uh, if you stay on Twitch, that's fine. You can watch us. We just we won't be able to talk to you. We won't be able to talk to us. It'll be a sad day. Uh, I did want to let you guys know, luckily... We have prizes again this week. We are giving away prizes. Yay! Thanks, of course, to Paizo Publishing. They are amazing. They created Pathfinder, which we shall be playing for the next four hours. Uh, they have given us prizes to give to you. We don't. Uh, uh, we are giving away prizes for both halves. Uh, the first half, uh, we are giving away one of the official Paizo Goblin plushies. Yeah! Uh, that is that is direct to you. Yeah, if, uh, if we could switch over, uh, we have one. We can show you guys. Ben has one. We can switch over to show, show Squire Quigley there. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice. We are giving away a, a, an official Paizo Goblin plushie. But not uh, this one. You can't not have this one. Not that one. This, this that is one is not yours. But you will be getting Dude. a similar okay, one. It's mine too. Here. It's right here. <clears throat> Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, and we are also giving away a set of dice. We will be giving a full set of seven polyhedral dice wow. direct to you. Uh, a goblin and some dice. Everything that you need uh, to play Pathfinder. <laughs> Provided somebody else is running the game, or you're using an online resource for the rules. <laughs> I don't know, I lost myself there. Anyway, we're giving that away. If you want to win those amazing prizes, all you have to do, of course, is share this half of the episode with the hashtag dragons and stuff. Make sure it's a public share on your Facebook page, and that's all, that's all it takes. That, that gets you an entry uh, at the end of this half of the episode. Before we go on break, we will announce uh, one of the winners for to those of you who, uh, who have shared this half of the episode. During the second half of the episode, I want to give a heads up. We're not going to announce it right now, but uh, our art contest has closed. We have gotten some incredible, amazing entries. We do have a winner that we have chosen after after hours of deliber deliberation, uh, pouring over the the countless submissions. But they were all uh, awesome. And they they yeah, were they were, they were all, they were all really very awesome. amazing. It was uh, an incredibly it was, difficult. It's, it's yeah, actually it was really it's sad great. that we have like we can only have one winner, but uh, we will be announcing the winner and their prizes in the second half. So if you Ooh. submitted artwork for the, the contest, make sure you stick around to the second half of the episode to see if you won. Uh, and of course, we will be giving away a, a normal sharing prize in the second half as well. So there's prizes galore. We're trying to make up for last week when we didn't have any prizes. We're just giving out tons of prizes today. Uh, <clears throat> aside from that, I do believe that we're about ready to recap what happened last week Whoa. and jump into the amazing adventure for this week. See what happens. Uh, let's get into it. What better not be shopping. What happens, Jim? Well, it will be shopping because he's, re he's refreshing. When I'm last we shopping. met, the party climbed out of the sewers and into the di daylight with their newly discovered treasures in tow after having defeated one of the guardians of Lunai set to guard the secret temple down in the sewers. The first order of business was heading to the church to heal your wounds and deal with Marcus's cursed bracelet. The church offered that they could attempt to break the curse holding the bracelet onto Marcus but first suggested that you speak to Johan Mendelev in case he knew of some way to remove it himself. He After didn't. having your wounds healed, you, you indeed paid the traveling merchant a visit, and a bunch of events occurred that were ridiculous, resolved to nothing, and once again involved Crag taking a public dump because... I, I don't know. Uh, we whatever. don't know. Uh, you guys were reminded <laughs> we by go. a still annoyed dwindle that the water problem had not been solved yet, <laughs> and so you decided that speaking <laughs> yes. to Keeper Fortin was your next step. This proved fruitful as he gave you information that on where to go and handed you magical items that will help you on your journey. So I'm sure that oh, he's yeah. offended you in some way and you'll find some reason to hate him <laughs> uh, despite all of that. We're gonna kill him, right? Obviously. Yes. I am so, you kill him. Started, so you traveled north, uh, uh, thanks to Brian Fortin's uh, suggestion to go. You had to travel a full, a full three days, but at the end of the first day, you came to a fisherman's shack. The owners were nowhere in sight, though the place did not seem to have been abandoned for long. You decided to spend the night nearby. Squire quickly slept in a hammock high in the trees. Uh, the box hoisted nearby with Lyra safely inside. The That's rest the of you slept idea. on the ground. This proved to be a poor decision as massive frogs attacked you in the middle of the night. Jim said no. 
The battle was fierce no. and nearly cost I, Marcus his own I tried to sleep Yo. in the house. Well, that or was forbidden. On the ground. That was, that was somebody else's who, house. Who would disallow me to do something that I wanted I don't to do? Think, Craig didn't want you sleeping in some stranger's oh, house. Oh, it was... Oh. Huh. I, sorry, I couldn't remember. Thanks for the refresher. Well, the battle nearly cost wow. you your life, Marcus, when one of the creatures swallowed you whole. Oh, yeah. Yet, in the end, you were able to defeat your froggy foes. The next morning, froggy you headed off on your way, and the rest of the journey towards Drift's sacred caves proved uneventful until you reached the falls themselves. Now you are all surveying a wide pool into which water flows from a high cliff. In the pool, large, monstrous lobster creatures swim and scuttle oh, about. Oh, yeah. You know that somewhere nearby there must be a cave, and beyond it you will find and hopefully save Drift, River Spirit herself. What do you do? Well... well. <laughs> we're uh, we're back to the quote unquote regular show, which we usually start with comments from the cast. Before we get into comments, though, I want to just make a note for anybody that may be watching this uh, post live when you come back to watch this. You should hit the uh, I guess it's not really a rewind button, but you should uh, you should go back a little bit and hear how Jim describes what is a waterfall because he used way too many words to describe it, and it's awesome and should actually give you some insight as to why Jim is so good at describing things. Yes, because he. <laughs> He did, he did a lot of describing there. So, Charles W. Shaw, starting us Woo! off, says, Awesome cinematic. Is this anything like World of Warcraft after a great yes! mini-movie? We'll have to kill uh, 25 boar and collect bandanas. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we do have a new uh, pretty cinematic uh, Hi, it's awesome. opening. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it gave you some insight into the show if you're a newbie. And if you are a newbie to the show, thank welcome. you. Welcome. Well, hopefully you're joining us. Hopefully you tuned in at 6. Or did it start at six or before six? We pretty much started at six, yeah. But the intro. The intro. Because maybe people missed it. So if you missed it, because people are like, oh, 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 these guys usually start at 6.15. It's fluid. (laughs) It's loose. Now you cannot come late ever again. Don't because ever, so ever good. be late because you could miss stuff. So who wants to take the next comment? I know that, uh, I Alex, you're having some difficulty see seeing it. the comments, so I'm sure one of our tech masterminds, Doc Please. Neal, Dylan, one of our other guys, Andrew, is going to run over and fix the read, 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 read. Ashley Reed says, love the new intro. Thank you. Oh, good. You just read her name because her name's Ashley. It, yep. I could oh, see no, that. Um, like, I could see Dylan that. Kayser, Dylan Kayser said, wow, they got Brian Cranston to voice the opening credits. Impressive, LOL. We spend the big bucks for you. Brian Cranston. And that was Brian Cranston? Um, yeah, I think that was Brian Cranston. Antonio Vera it's says, a Brian, man. OMG, new intro, so cool. He also Yay. said something else. You want to read that one, too? I can't. Uh, I can't hashtag listen. Team Alex, big yes. smile, skull, yes. dagger. That's all I can yes. see. Thank you, Peppo. Love you. Uh, Josh Schoen. <laughs> so epic. <laughs> nice. Wow. Get him, Lyra. I got it. Oh, Get him. coming after Marcus. Get him. It. It's it started Josh, um, already. And Connie Rodehaver says, beautiful intro. Great job, guys. Hi, Connie. You guys will have to read for us tonight. So Let's great see. job to all of you tuning in. Make sure you use that hashtag dragons and stuff to share this live on Facebook. If you are tuning in on Twitch, thank you so much for watching. You can continue to watch us on Twitch. Just maybe share it on Facebook so you can be eligible to win the prizes. Make sure you share it public because your privacy settings are important to you. But... Uh, we need Thank you, you yes, to. I, sorry, we're, we're directing how to how to get the screen so the we can see. The tripod's in the way, so. If you come can you bring it out, out around and forward? Sorry, guys. Give us a moment as we adjust here. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you so much. So again, uh, share with the hashtag dragon stuff. Make sure your share is public, and uh, if you're in the United States awesome. or Canada, Thank you, sir. you are eligible you. to win. I think that we are now ready for lunch. What? Lunch? Ooh. No. No? That's, That's cool. cool. Oh, yes. Everyone be quiet. Oh, Tobias, oh, Tobias is back. Is tuning in again from Germany. from Germany. Nice. I don't even know That's what time awesome. it is there. I think he says different time. 3 to 7 is when he watches. 3 in the morning to 7 a.m. Yeah. is when he no, watches. Tobias, yeah. Wow. He's the winner. Wow. wow. You're a, he's the winner. He's like the all time winner. Amazing. That is an all time winner. Well, we also have uh, a, a viewers from Australia. I think. And Hawaii. Yeah. Somebody from yeah. Scotland, Scotland, I believe. Don't you remember? That's we right. have one from Scotland, and I believe that mm-hmm. it started at, at. Oh, Tobias, you might be able to say this for us, but um, what's the time difference between Germany and Scotland? Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, that's um, interesting. I have friends Our, in Brussels watching right now. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. You nice. Uh, also, over. I don't remember if it was mentioned, but Sirenscape is going on. If you guys have yeah, not gone over to Sirenscape.com, right check out the products they have to offer and potentially gotten one for yourself. It is a fairly inexpensive, in fact, it's darn right cheap to get, and uh, you get a lot, a big bang for your buck, and uh, it adds a lot of ambiance. It and, really does. Uh, so, and it scares some of us, quite honestly. Sometimes. <clears throat> okay, so guys, 
Let's are we? This. Silence, bitch. But. But what? But what? I have. A I'm gonna meditate. Plan. I do too. Oh, okay. oh, that's right. We need to. We need to back <clears throat> off before we're seen or yes, detected. I'm just gonna meditate. Yeah, you have not been noticed yet. Yeah, we're. Okay. That's so we back away. Idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Back and up. So you back away. Back uh, again, the creatures ahead of you seem to take no notice of your movements. Um, well, the, the waterfall is yeah. very loud. Actually, the noise of the waterfall does indeed yeah. help to mask any of the no. uh, sounds that you make as you move. Is there somewhere to back into to hide? Yeah, but yeah you can definitely get fur- far enough back into the trees where you can't see them, so you assume they can't see you. When we uh, <coughs> walked up, is there a way to funnel them closer to where we were walking? What do you mean? So, um, so I'm just going to explain the plan, and you just tell me yeah. if this is possible. So, I have three bear traps. And my idea is to um, go ahead and have Lady Alex set out these three bear traps. Then Sir Craig can throw me into the fold and I will yell and scream and run around and I'll just get all of these crabs or lobsters Lobsters. attention. And then I will run back and I will jump over that no. never works. Jumping, exactly. jumping is always that doesn't work a good plan. To be clear, this involves you being physically thrown. Yes. The only thing that Neat. you don't like about that plan, Quigley, um, is that the way the creatures are built, they, each of them has, has six legs, and they're very thin, and they're very wide set compared to like a bear or a dog or a wolf. So it would be probably a little more difficult to... To snag one, as John John Christian not impossible, it but it's no. But it would clip off their legs. As John Christian, clip off maybe one of their legs. Perfect. As John Christian <clears throat> says, <laughs> you don't need bear traps, Quigley. You need lobster traps. <laughs> I have a bunch of sandwiches. Yeah. Now, what is your plan? Well, are yeah, lobster traps the boxes that you throw yeah. in the? I was, yeah. was going to take out my rock slinger and maybe like create like some noise in one section, and then we can all like bum rush them. Like your thunderstone. Yes. Uh, don't they call them lo- lobster? It'd be a lo- lobster. Lo- Lobsters? Lobster. Lobsters? Mm. Did I say that? I said lobster. No. No, Mike, you said lobster. I didn't know that. Mike Harris has pointed out that we need to go shopping for sandwich fixins because Not now we've got uh, lobster. Yeah, we I could have a great so. lunch. Perfect. So, oh, I'm um, allergic. So, is everyone all right with setting up the bear traps? Then Lady Alex will make some <coughs> noise over here and, and draw all the lobsters to us, and then we attack them. Quigley, that's not. I think this is a great time for me to say a few words. No, what are you? Never a good time. Jesus here, what's going what I, on? What I wanted huh. to do was point out that whatever you want to do, you should go ahead and do because I've been thinking. Um, especially after oh, the great. incident that happened with the frogs. That was near-death experience uh, that when was, he was saved. That was terrifying. I, I saved your You life. all saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. We um, thought about it. I wanted to say I'm sorry for reacting emotionally rather than in, in intellectually. I know you guys expect more from your leader, being an intellectual, being the one who thinks rather than feels emotions first. And I obviously let you down. So it's clear to me that this group requires a leader that doesn't do things the way that I do intelligently. And so I think it's best if Craig is the leader. What? And so I just want What is your angle? Yeah, an angle, my dear lady. There is no, no, no. I feel like there's an angle. uh, I was just eaten by a frog hole. You were. You he's saw so it happen. Consumed. <coughs> he's so full of crap is coming out yes, of his ears. I hand Lady Alex the three bear traps. Okay. So and as while they're, they're arguing, arguing we're going setting up. Not arguing. Not arguing. Let you have the, you're the leader now. Please just take it. Take okay. it. Just is there a way it. I can sneak up so I've they don't see it. me? I know, but just lay it down and start. Yes, this is all this way. Yes, there's a way you can do that. It's called making a stealth check. Marcus, that was very big of you to do that. Here we go. Thanks, Lyra. Yeah, look at my numbers. It's been a week. So we saw we saw five. Saw so six. We saw six. six of them. Ooh, girl. Eighteen plus my eleven. They can't there see go. me. Go. <laughs> okay. Alexander Beecroft says Marcus <clears throat> and thinking is never a good thing. Yeah, but Dylan Kaiser points out that my angle is obtuse. <laughs> and John Christian says Cheddar Bay biscuits. FTW. <laughs> I love Cheddar Bay biscuits. Uh, so Craig, you're you're the leader now. Okay. What do we do? So you oh, move great. forward. I'm the leader um, now. You find a space where you can see them. Uh, you wait a moment. None of them seem to take notice of you. So you begin moving about. You sit up 
All three of them? Did you yes. hand me three? I handed her all okay. three. Okay, okay I guess okay. so. Um, talk positioning, just just for fun. Six for kicks and eagles. Talk, talk positioning. Do you want them all in a little cluster? Do you want them all 15 feet apart? Do you no, want... I would say maybe, how big is the bear trap? Like no. three feet? No. No, it's no. tiny? It opens up and it's probably, it's, it's like that big. <laughs> Yeah. How big are these crab big. monsters? Yeah, very Each big. one, yeah, they're they're pretty big. What, how big are they? They're gonna take off their leg and then we. Oh. Yes, they're going to be. Okay. But how big are they? I'm gonna put them about three feet apart. Three feet apart in a line. Yeah, in a horseshoe. Are these lobsters horseshoe. taller than crag? Uh, they are just a little bit taller than crag. It, it's they're not actually they, when they stand they're not taller than crag, but their body is very long. Eyeballing so. it, not counting. How many do I see? Six. Uh, six. Yeah, the, you guys had see had to establish that you're pretty confident there's six. Six taller than Craig. So here, I'm okay, going so to I, climb up a tree. So I look back at Craig and I say, "Yeah." So what do we do, leader? Your plan? You're gonna go? Why don't you go forward into them? No. no. Uh, also, logistically speaking, back to the last uh, episode. Yes. Uh, spellcasters, we slept after the frog encounter, correct? Mm -hmm. You guys, yes, you guys slept and woke up the next morning and you guys had regained spells. We have our spells? Yes. Okay. Our, what's our health looking like? So, Your health should be, should be uh, at whatever should be whatever good. happened after the yeah, combat, you would have everybody. rested and then she gained whatever you gain, which is your level plus your constitution modifier. So, I'm at a 10 plus a 5, so 15. I'm up in the trees. Okay. Well, Close by. Have you moved up with her? Oh, yes. or oh, I'm If you've going. moved up with her, then you need to make a stealth check because she's within. Oh, great. Pers Perceiving range of those things. Well, perfect. Let's see. Yeah, what am perfect. I going to be doing? Say it every way. Good. Yes. No. Ah. no. I was okay, say, Alex. Let's stay so in the tree line. Line. Do you have Hold on, because we have to. <laughs> <fucking fireball, laughs> <though. We're... laughs> I'm so mad. Do we know that they're, what they're doing? The traps you know that Alex has moved forward no, with a bunch of bear traps. You know that Quigley has moved forward. Dry erase marker. Ooh. So quickly, hold yes. down the hold down the top button on your camera. This one? Yep. One second. So, just hold it down. <laughs> See if you see notice anything red flashing on your camera. Something clicked. Yes. Great. We'll get back to killing quickly just momentarily. Yeah, he was pushing the correct one. So here, just to just to be clear. So I went and saw Brother York and yes. paid money to get healed. Yes. Lyra healed me a little bit. I a slept lot. a lot of it. So I should be I should be Did you take damage with from the frogs? I don't think you did. No, no you did, because yeah, you got I swallowed. Did. Yeah, I did. So then I'm back. This is correct, then. Okay. okay. So Nailed it. I wanted to say, well, before all that happened, okay. no, you should heal me. It's too late Like, now. how far can his fireballs go? And But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're going to yeah. go It doesn't ahead. matter, because quickly hits Crow Boldly Forest. Into... So whatever plan you... Boldly Sorry, we had a minor interruption with the tech. I missed. Did we see what Quigley and Alex You did? know that they've gone ahead. Oh. And you know that quick, you know that Alex had a bunch of bear traps. So so yeah. so, uh, so shall uh, you've hidden the items that I need to see that were at the top of the page. You you took them away from the top of the page. I need them back to the top of the page. So shall the mighty, the, the generous, the great. Say how please. Far, please. Say please. So how far can please. how Here's far oh, can your fireball go? Alex, you're setting up bear traps. You get them how in a nice horseshoe go? arrangement. Mm -hmm. You think to yourself, perfect. You can also and then you hear. You attack from the um, the rustling and snapping of branches behind you, Mother. and you hear um, uh, Squire Quigley comes rushing up, uh, and he's looking around. He's like, "Oh, oh, great! You set up the bear traps!" And that's when you see ahead uh, a whole bunch of commotion as several of the lobster creatures perk up and begin waving little antennae towards uh. where the sounds are coming from and scuttling forward. Oh, um, but the plan is working. Then. Yes. Kaiser. Did you still want to climb a tree? Yes. Okay. Your total on the tree climbing was. Fifteen. So you get up the. You get. You, then he immediately abandons you and begins climbing a tree. I. Can I climb a tree right now too? Uh, I think. Let me. Let me figure out what he wanted to say, sorry, and then, yes, then yes, we're good. Yes. Oh, sorry. Just mentioning Dylan Kaiser is commenting on Facebook. Because by the way, if you are on Twitch, uh, while we don't <clears> see your comments, uh, if you want us to read your comments, just go over to Facebook.com/dragons and stuff. We'll see your comments there. Might as well hit the uh, share button on the live video. Use the hashtag dragons and stuff. When you do, you'll be eligible for prizes. 
uh, make sure your share is public. Anyways, Dylan Kaiser says, when Jim Jam gets that excited, you knew you know nothing good is going to happen. <laughs> no. You know everything good is about to happen. And Cody Nitschting was, of course, on Alex's side saying, uh, Thank you, Cody. Hashtag Team Sneak Attack. But guess what? They blew it. I'm But F'd. they blew it. Well, this is so, Team Quiglex over here. Yes, Team Quiglex, why don't we, before we go any further, roll initiative? Oh. oh, it's become that serious, has it? Oh, it's, it's bad. Uh, <laughs> three rolling initiative. Three uh, you can, but you are not currently aware of the combat oh, yet, okay. so you'll just come in whenever. I will wait. <laughs> three plus six gives yeah, me I'm a Yeah, I'm going to wait until we I got a one. Oh. I'm getting it out now. Plus your four gives you a five. Oh, yeah, that's you know, five. <laughs> You're just five. And I'm in the four. Everything's fine, guys. And you ruined it. Everything's fine. All right, Everything's friends. not awesome. So. Uh, the creatures begin to scuttle forward. You guys are approximately 60 feet away oh, from the pond. So you guys have some distance on them, uh, but uh, you see that four of these creatures have come up out of the water and are scuttling through the forest. Um, Describe scuttling to me, Jim. They have not, no, they do Scuttle. not appear to have like seen you though. Okay. They seem to be, you would guess that's, they're mere drawn by the me. sounds that Quigley was making. Okay. Um, Perfect. You're up in a tree. So, um, they close they close about 40 feet, so they're 20 feet away, and they seem to be scanning, looking for the source of the noise now. Do they um, stop? They're about... Oh, I was wondering. What's that? Do they stop, or are it's they continuing? Where, where they, it looks like they will continue. It's, it's the end of their six seconds, so you imagine they're going to continue forward. Um, where you are, they haven't seen you, but if you move, they'll get a chance to notice your movements. Okay. So it's up to you whether you just want to wait where you are, or you want to try to break for somewhere. I want to break for someone. Okay. Uh, where are you going? Um, uh, can I hide? Can I start like going back, hiding behind trees? What's that? Can I start going back, hiding behind trees? You can. You will move like more slowly if you're sneaking, but yes. Okay. So hold oh, on. Because she's still I gotta on get the ground. To yeah, I'm too, on right? the ground. Because she's still on the. She's ground. still on the ground. That's correct. So I'm going to can wait until they have entered my area of just downright nastiness. Okay. And as soon as one of them comes like in and um, uh, and hits the bear trap closest to me, yeah. I don't want to fall into a bear trap. No. I'm going to just <laughs> take take my sword, jump down and just go yes. right into the of course you back are. of its neck. I'm sure that's exactly what will happen too. Yes, I have will. no doubt. Alex, make a stealth check if you're attempting to be stealthy. I am. Ooh. 18 again. Plus my 11. You can't see uh, me. Okay. Uh, whoa. Oh, tell me whether I can't can see. Whoa. I'll tell you whether I can see you or not. Thank you. No, in fact, you, you managed to move. Nice. Uh, you won't be able to move far enough to actually get up a tree if you wanted to climb, because you had mentioned that before. But you can move further away. Okay, I'm moving You can get about uh, even half your move speed, so you get 15, feet, 15 further feet away from them. That leaves them a total of about 35 feet ahead of you. Rebecca Hudson says, I believe the GM is smiling too much. Look out! Uh -huh. yeah, that's always yes. bad. Even that's accurate, cow. Rebecca. Um, Mike Harris wants you to know that it's, it's time for you to launch some fireballs ahead into the pond. I don't have fireballs. And the rest fireballs. of the party can just bull run. That would be I great. I have fireballs so you could since just... I've been level four because you needed a level five. Oh, you can't. Oh, you don't can't have do that ability yet. No, I can't do anything. Sad that you don't do have that one. You remember I'm worthless. That's why he's smiling. Stop fighting. I'm worthless. I'm worthless. I'm worthless. Okay. The creatures begin to scuttle forward once again. So, um, Alex, you set the bear traps. Yes. There's, these particular traps are traps that get an attack roll in order to to catch their prey. Okay. So you can go ahead and go, I'll let you make the attacks for the traps. One of one of the traps is going to get set off this round as the, the creatures scuttle forward trying to find the source of all the commotion. Go ahead and roll an attack roll and add 10 to it. Ooh, okay, Great. here we go. Nine plus ten, nineteen. Nineteen is enough. Yes. Uh, you hear the snap, the metallic clang as the pinchers snap around this creature's leg. You can roll two d six plus three for damage. Two d six plus three. Here we go. We're just standing here. Yeah, we're twiddling. just chilling. Six plus five. Eleven. Fourteen. 11 four, there. Wow. Yes. Bear trap. Quick legs. Quick legs. Okay. That was we're just chilling. Um, eight points of damage, Alex. This How much? thing. What? You're joking. There is the clang, no. and then this creature immediately begins to just be thrash around, and it tries to 
rip its leg free, yeah. and actually you can hear a, a, a crunching and ripping sound as Ew. indeed the bottom half of its leg is just ripped away. I dinner. should now have that one because dinner. I have easy access to the, to, to the lobster. I mean, does, does its dexterity go down Indeed, well? it will have a very difficult time moving about. In fact, this has been so spectacular that I'd say that Quigley, if you were prepared. Oh no, I'm, to I'm make very your, You're going to wait? I'm going to wait for the one closest to me. I'm not going I'm to I'm telling fall. you, like, you've got a shot at this one. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to. Okay, no, he no, no, waits, no. guys. Quickly waits, oh, wow. biding his time. Alex, it is your turn. You oh. see these creatures uh, have all turned towards the one that's thrashing about. There's a there's a wet gurgling sound that it's not very loud. These creatures obviously don't have much capacity to make a lot of vocal noises, but there is indeed sort of a, a gurgling wet cry that you would you would surmise as oh. agony at this point. Uh, they haven't noticed you. They're now focused on the one that is just spraying ichor and half of its leg just dangles uselessly. What are you doing? Can I sneak up behind one of them? You could. Okay. Yes. Gonna do as it. long as you successfully stealth forward. All right. And I will. 17 plus my 11. Yeah? Yeah. You don't see me. I can't see you. You don't see me. So. <laughs> So go ahead, you get within striking distance of one of these creatures. All right, I'm gonna use my dagger. Okay. Here we go. 10 plus my eight gives me 18. 18 is enough, go ahead and roll, and make sure you get to add your uh, sneak attack damage because these creatures have not noticed you yet. So sneak attack is... Um, plus 2d6. Plus so two. one d it's so you're using your rapier, right? Uh, 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 dagger. Dagger, dagger? okay, so it's eight. 1d4 and 2d6. 1d4. Jim Jam. When the first one was trapped no, 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 in the no, no, trap, yes. do we hear noise? Uh, make a uh, perception check. 19. 14. 8. Plus 3. 6. 11. 11. 11. Okay. okay. 19 you plus hear, 7. You hear a oh, snap. Oh, right. Uh, but then that, there's like a metallic clang, and then nothing. There's not really much else noise that comes from... 14 plus 11. But you hear something. Okay. okay. 25. Did I hear two? Uh, yeah, you heard the same thing. She did 11, 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage? Okay. You find a weak spot in the, uh, where where the segmented plates come together mm -hmm. and jam your dagger deep into its the fleshy body underneath. Uh, and the creature begins to thrash around. It turns on you, uh, clacking its clackers. <laughs> Are you going to dance? <laughs> Quigley, you have seen, you has, see all this happen. Has any of the other ones hit a, uh, another Not bear? Not yet, time? but... On this next round, perhaps they will. Let's see. Don Weber has pointed out that the rogue, Alex, did a Cena. <laughs> John Cena. Ah. Uh, and Scott Denuso says, fall boldly forth, Quigley. No, don't fall. Uh, yeah. Don't fall. Go ahead and roll. Oh, my brother's watching. Bear trap! Bear one trap! The, oh, sorry. So He's you, you stab lobsters. one of them. Did you see? Andres! My brother's watching. Andres Restrepo says, poor lobster, you are all horrible people. <laughs> ah, yes. Good, good. That's true. That's no! Yep. Oh, roll, no. roll to catch the lobster in the bear trap! So, again, the so Alex, yes. you stab one of these creatures. The one that's on the far side notices you and begins to make its way around. And as it's making its way around, there's the clang as another trap closes shut. Go ahead and roll your can attack. We have another, can this I one? proceed? Yeah, have to roll that one. Oh, another yeah. attack roll. We're just chilling. How's it going? 10 plus my 8. 18. 18? 18 that's, plus a, that's good. So roll, uh, roll 2d6 right. damage. So what do you think is taking them 10? so long? Because the bear trap gets 10. Oh. Yeah, the, the bear trap attacks no, plus 10. 6 right? We, we heard the clang. We did. Yeah. I heard nothing. Six. Well, you Plus heard three. nothing. I heard a waterfall. Eight. Eleven that points of damage. Eleven, his bear trap. 11 points of damage. All right. That was a bear trap. <laughs> so Another one of these things is, going on? <laughs> is caught. Is that the bear trap closest to me? Yes, Quigley. Yes! Yes, we'll Quigley. As this creature here. tries to make its way around to come at Alex, it gets caught in the bear trap directly underneath you. <laughs> Okay. To be doing so right. you need to make an acrobatics check. Sorry, yes, guys. Of course, I love my <laughs> acrobatics checks. Twelve. 12 plus? Zero. <laughs> oh. That's not very good. Go ahead and make an attack roll. All right. 15 plus 8, 23. 23. Okay. So here's what happens. Uh, you okay. do hit it with your blade, and your blade sinks into the, to the cracks through. But you also are realize that you haven't really jumped very well, so you're just, you just crash down onto it. All right. So you take uh, 1d6 falling damage. All right. <laughs> Six! One! Okay, so it's, it's, it's okay. You get the wind knocked out of you, but you feel good. But your sword deals damage to the creature now. Go ahead and roll that. Yes, it does! Can we... 
Yes? Sneak up? Yes. Can we sneak over yes. there? Because I heard... Don't make it crunch, crunch. Don't. Two plus three gives me five points That's of true. damage. That's not okay. what they're doing. They're doing something You basically good. just drive this thing flat onto the ground, and it knocks the wind out of you. Uh, and as you're rolling off it's off the, the carapace, uh, it's not moving. It's just... It, it, except its legs twitch a little bit, but it doesn't try to get back up. Uh, you seem to have killed it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, this, you guys do now hear a, a tremendous crashing sound uh, coming in the direction that your companions have gone just a few moments ago. Charles Pryor pointed out that the screaming lobster is an expensive sirenscape sound show. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Did you get that one? You're not screaming lobster? Yep. And Michael Kasevan is team, hashtag team lobster family picnic. Oh, yes. <laughs> Between the I frogs and legs. now the lobster, you we guys are going to be eat well. eating well for yes. for a while. So can that we... was you, now um, no. Alex's turn. Nope, that thing's no. Are we going to sneak over We look like right this strike I'm gonna go after the, the one again in the bear trap. Nope, you didn't hear okay. me say that either. <laughs> 10 plus my 8, 18 for 10. You were going after which one? Sorry. The one that I hit um, in the bear trap. So he killed one, the other one. Because I already hit that one, right? Well, you hit the you hit the one that you have mm -hmm. hit is currently not in a bear trap. So then let me go after that one again. OK, so the one that you've already attacked. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, sorry. OK. That's fine. And then, so I go for sneak attack? Uh, no, <laughs> because now it's aware of you, and you're not flanking, so. So, OK, so one d So one plus my three gives me four. Okay. Six. Um, no. <laughs> you, once again, you managed to find a, a chink in the armor, so to speak, jamming your blade into its its carapace uh, and, and scoring a hit on the soft, meaty yeah, body underneath. The creature uh, reels in pain. You can see that it's moving very sluggishly now, probably very close to death after your merciless onslaught. Uh, you guys Starting are doing what? We're sn I, we, we heard like that sound. Yeah, you heard yeah you've been around. hearing sounds. So we were talking about stuff, yeah. and he was saying he can't do anything. And right. I said, where can you put your flaming balls? And he got mad. OK. We heard that sound. So we so would like I'm like, to that was a bear trap. Then we heard the bigger sound. Yeah. We got to go. Something happening. We need to go. So can we sneak? Can we sneak over? OK. Can we try to sneak? Oh, we're sneaking. We're not striding. I don't sneak. Instead, I tell people about our Reddit. If you don't know that we have a Reddit page where you can comment <laughs> we're sneaking. about, you know, this stuff. I don't have any sneaking. You can go check out our Reddit page of dragons I have stuff. I have a lot of stuff. That's, that's pretty much it. You just and go to, you know, reddit.com. Also, we have we're an amazing stealthy. Instagram page um, that uh, Mrs. Quigley um, takes very good care of. And uh, we post about two to four pictures every day. If you love seeing all of this stuff, you will love seeing what's on the Instagram page. Go to Instagram at Dragons and Stuff Show, and you'll see what I'm talking There's about. There's actually photos we of spell. my spellbook. Oh, there are. Yeah. Photos of spellbook. Gotcha. Oh, guys. Pieces. Where are you, dude? We spell. Okay. I got a 10 plus my 6 is 16. Nice. Okay. And he got a 14 plus. 14 plus 5. Wow. 19. We are okay. stealthy. I'm going to wait until they're moving ahead of me, then I'll, I'll just move. Of course. I'll okay. just walk. Just okay. Um, Stroll. Like, do do? Top of the next round. Hmm. The you guys notice that some of the uh, critters that hadn't made their way are beginning to crash up into the forest, scuttling forward towards the source of, of potential food uh, as you combat the creatures that are in front of you. Uh, the one is going to take a stab at you with its claws, trying to, to pinch you. With no. its pinchers. Mm. Is it gonna pinch uh, me? Your AC is. My AC is I can't 17. See you. Not enough mm. to prevent this creature mm -hmm. from slicing through your coat. You take seven points of damage. Ooh. This thing reaches forward and snaps at your arm closed in its pincher. You pull back uh, before it can grab a hold of you. Uh, the other one is going to, since its leg is off, uh, actually make a retreating motion back towards the safety of the water. Yeah. You are not within melee range of it. I'm going to throw my pickaxe You can't make a ranged attack of opportunity. Those are melee specifically. Sword. You can do that on your turn, but that'll be your action. For no, never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> the other creatures uh, make their way up, and they're about 20 feet away, so next round they'll be able to join the battle. There are three other ones. So three fresh ones have come sure. up. Perfect. So Quickly. there are currently three 
One of there is currently close, one yeah. that's fighting Alex, one that has moved, and one that you killed, and then three fresh ones coming. Oh, forward. all right. So, yes. um, two alive. So there's, there's, no, five. Five alive. Five alive. Yes, five, five alive. Yes. I like fresh. Seafood. The wounded oh. one is scuttling away. Are you? Gonna... I would like to go after it and slice it with my sword. Okay, so you rush up uh, and stab at it. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to use um, my charge. You're just going to charge it. Okay. Yes. All right. Do so. 17 plus 8 plus 2 gives me a lot of points. Yes, it does. All That's right. enough definitely to deal your damage. Go ahead and roll. 8 plus wow. 3! <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you do to your dice? <laughs> did you do something? Sort of, no, you know, we got rolling. that advice. So on our Facebook page, someone said, what do you do to your dice to teach a lesson or something like that? Teach a lesson? And, um, and somebody posted that they put their dice on one so that uh, the dice out. know not to do that anymore, and I have been doing it. No, it's but working. you did it last week, so did I, and it did not work, so I'm going all max <laughs> numbers. you out. It's working. Uh, Dylan, so, Dylan Teeter wants to know, I'm late to the party, what did I miss? Oh, uh, well, lot. somebody else. We're killing things. Yeah, somebody else pointed out before you, and I'm sorry I missed the, the name, uh, we're rolling dice about 90 minutes ahead of schedule here, because <laughs> normally we don't roll dice till far later in the episode. Yeah. Things are happening. Uh, I'm not the leader anymore, uh, you know. So, so there's no there's no fancy sword swordsmanship here. You just hold your blade out in front of you and charge <laughs> forward as fast as you can and just slam into this thing. Uh, and your blade pierces right through its carapace. Uh, and and the thing it, it gets pushed forward onto its face uh, and and dies after you. Wow, these after things you die die quickly. We're gonna I'm hit going something to take bad. A, uh, the charge is a full no. round action, oh, right. so that's that's all you can do for this for this round. Perfect. Alex, there is one creature still alive ahead of you. See, you saw Quigley scuttle ahead. He, he rushed forward. You can see that scuttle. he will probably be in trouble next no. round because it's, there are three really running. close to him that are scuttle? probably gonna right. come at him. Bring it but you've still got scuttle. one right in front of you. Wait, no, let me go after the I one in front of me. Sure, okay, finish it off. All oh, right. Straighten their hair out. Spark, 17 spark plus blood. my 8. Yeah, that's enough. That'll and get him. Then, I did it. I did it. You're doing things. I'm doing things. I'm really glad you guys are doing things. 2 plus my 3 gives me 5 points of damage. Okay, that is enough. You uh, stab it with skill and grace. Uh, the creature just, its legs uh, unfold out from under it. Uh, and it slumps down. I killed something. It's it is so dead. Long. You guys come upon the scene Lord, just Lord, as yeah. Alex is ripping her blade out from the body three, of one of these yeah. creatures. And you see that wow. Quigley nice. has nice. rushed about 20 feet Hell further yeah. ahead, and he is about to do battle with three of these things that are coming cool. right at him. Um, P.S. This cyberspace so music good. is amping me up yes. to the umpteenth level. I'm ready to take on these three lobsters. I'm coming. Uh, you guys who have arrived at the battle, go ahead and roll Follow. initiatives. We'll get you in on this round. Brad Metz has pointed out, this is awesome, adventuring right out of the gate. I agree. Isn't it great when they're doing things? Yes. Let's let Marcus and other people so know Charles that. So Charles Pryor says, 18. Hashtag 18. a lot of points. Quigley is the new Sassafras. <laughs> 19. No, nice. Charles. What's that? Don't say that 19. name. 19. And then Dylan Peter says, wait, Marcus was the leader? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you would like to think so, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> What do you mean, Marcus? The yes. creatures are still first in the round, despite some better initiatives. They converge on you, each of them holding their pinchers out, uh, attempting to to cut through your oh, armored yeah, flesh. Yeah, yeah, behind yeah. the group. Huh? I want to make it clear that where I walked up was behind these two. Yes, yeah, you would be coming on the scene last, Good. for sure. Uh, what is your current AC? 18. 18. Uh, two misses, but one extremely lucky hit. Quigley, this thing catches the side of your face with its claw. You side take 10 points of damage. Bring it on! Make a fortitude save. Mm -hmm. 14 plus my five gives me a 19. Okay, this thing's claw nearly like gouges out your eye, but whoa, you managed to pull whoa, away lose an eye? just in time. I don't know that we have the, um, you know, the CGI to do that. <laughs> oh you managed to get God. away just in the nick of time, uh, <laughs> though sustaining a vicious gouge across your cheek and the side of your face. Wow. Uh, that takes oh us to Marcus. Marcus, ahead of you see that 
there ahead of you. You're about 15 feet back from them. Uh, you can see that there are bodies of creatures ahead of you, and you know that there's still some shouting and, and much, ha ha, ah, ahead of you. What do you do? I uh, take cover. Okay, you take cover. And make sure that I'm quiet and yes. no one sees me. No one sees you and you are in cover. Perfect. That's good. Good. Lyra. Yes. You see that ahead of you, Quigley, Quigley's dodging attacks and feeling, and you're like, oh, this is great. And then one like almost rips his face off and it's like, uh-oh, maybe not so good. Right. This is about so, uh, 30 feet ahead of you. What are you doing? 30 feet. Um, I'm going to start my heart pin. Okay. You be you grab onto your heart pin and music fills the air, emboldening. Uh, literally, the you can hear the music and you are emboldened Draw and ready for combat. Plus one. To attack and plus one to attack. Plus and one damage. to attack and damage until the music stops. That's the music, I think. Don't stop the music. Crack. I'm just going to send my stuff. What do I see? You see uh, ahead of you, Three. there's Quigley. He's surrounded and he's almost doing well until he's not. Almost had his head taken off. I saw yeah, that. he almost gets his face ripped off. Now, Robert Nash says, thank you for no shopping, but all I was trying to do last time was get some scrolls. <laughs> Besides the whole other thing. I just wanted some scrolls, which would have made me not useless, and then Craig would have hated me a little you bit You did less. get some scrolls. What happened to I those? got a bunch of scrolls. Uh, yeah. I used Good some. Too. Oh, so now you just don't have those scrolls anymore. You would say. Yes. Ah, good. So, Craig, what are you doing? Can I flank? Yes, you can move to flank one of them. I can move to flank? Yes. Now with that, uh, can I charge in and attack and flank or no? Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. charge attack. Like a charge flank. attack, yes. flank. Charge power attack? Yes. Is that all a thing? Of the, all of these things are possible. Do, do I take a... a um, no. Your no AC. penalty for charging. Your AC. No, it actually gives you a bonus. It gives you a penalty to your armor class, but it gives you a plus two plus bonus two. to your attack. Okay. So with the flanking and the charge, it's a plus a total of plus four. Oh wow, cool. I'm doing it. Plus your harp pin necklace. Which oh, plus, plus the one. This is necklace. too much. This yeah. is too much math. Plus five. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Oh god, oh. Math about. Oh. Ah. Six plus five is eleven. Plus plus one. No, six seven. plus seven. Six plus seven is thirteen. Plus okay. Five. 18. Plus 18. five 18. is 18. Plus one. No. 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 Plus five is 18. 18. So that, but that's enough. You managed oh God, to score a, a hit. I thought it was going to be another. You just crash your hammer down and crack this thing's carapace wide open. Uh, that's Go so ahead awesome. and roll damage. Yes. That's a hey. 10 plus 12 oh, yeah. plus one. Oof. So tw uh, 23. 23. Yep. You just uh, smash this thing. It's our bits of its bits Crabbies. of its shell go flying off. Uh, a huge hole is opened, smashing down into the vital organs. Exploded. Uh, it, it just splatters. I catch some lobster yeah. meat in my mouth. Yeah, you get some lobster meat. You get a free uh -huh. lunch out of it. Walk it down. Uh -huh. I'm That's definitely a kill for you. If I have a pen or a pencil. Quigley. So, yes. The fight has been joined by Sir Crag. Ah, uh, Sir Crag! We will defeat them together! And, um. Oh, hey. Yes, hey, Team Quigley! Um, That's what I did. And so, um. But yes, and, yes, <laughs> Thank you for joining in the That's his turn. That's his turn. No, um, I am going to, because I'm in flanking still, correct? He killed the one that he was flanking, so now I'm going, Can two. I shift to a flanking position? No, because he's on the he's on the outside of the oh. flank, so no. Uh, all right, well then I'm going to dual attack. Okay, go for it. Roll your attack. I am going to uh, shield first. Nine plus uh, six gives me 15. Okay. 15 is not quite enough. You managed to smack it with your shield, but you're not able to crack through the, the plated armor. And then with my sword, uh, 10 plus 8, 18. 18 is enough. Uh, you Maybe you crack it with your shield and then I'm and use the weakness. I'm attacking the one that is to... further away from okay. Sir Craig, sure. thinking that he will take yeah, yeah. that other one. Just, just kind of smash it. Put it on a one. Which one's the one that tried to take your eye? Did we kill it? You killed it. The one you're attacking right now. Yes. Oh, thank you. Not so evil, Jim Jam. <laughs> ah, four plus three gives me seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Uh, not as not as stunning a blow as no. your previous ones, but still a solid hit. You can tell that you've scored uh, a good hit on this thing. This thing does look like you've weakened it significantly. Alex. How far away am I from you? They are about 20 feet away from you now. And so are they, them two? They're Those both? two, yeah, they're fighting creatures, yeah. Um, 
You could you could get to one within a move action, but you couldn't move to flank in a move action. So, so can I get to one to a move action and then put my rape, uh, equip my rapier? Yes. So I would like to do that. Okay. So you move forward. You switch your weapons and then and then head forward. Next round, you'll be ready to make an yes. attack against one. Yes. Thank you. Top of the next round, these creatures are going to go ahead and try to Quigley still the one right in front of them. So they're taking two attacks at Quigley, but both of them miss. Neither yeah. one is able to score a hit, as indeed you're basically just just ducking around using <laughs> your shield to block their claws. Marcus, just hit me. Oh, I got you. The battle is ahead of you. Are you uh, participating in it? <laughs> are you part of the group, Marcus? Yeah, I'm Moral support. Encouraging. The lobsters, oh boy. silently, <laughs> quietly. Okay. Good. Uh, Lyra. What? It's your turn. Um, <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Are you going I'm to just continue? I'm frustrated with this guy. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue with the heart. Journey. Okay. Yeah. You can still move if you would like, but you don't, you don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. How are they doing? How they're doing, everybody they? seems to be doing fine. They're I'm gonna actually. Stay, I'm going to yeah. stay here and like, no, do the harp thing. Okay, yeah, you do the harp thing. You can continue to concentrate, giving everybody their plus one. Crag, it is your turn. There's nobody in melee range, so you have to move, but you could move to flank the one that Quigley is attacking, or you could move because Alex has moved up, so you could flank with either Alex or with Quigley, if you wish. Ooh, who's closer? Lady Alex. Both... I said I was fighking the Yeah, so, so technically Alex is a little closer. Flank I'll flank, with I'm flanking Nate. with I'll Okay, flank so you with shift Alex. around so that you can flank the one that Alex is fighting and. Power attack? Yeah, go for it. Oh, oh come you're on. You're gonna smash all the bits and pieces in my no. face. You're not gonna power attack, are you? Oh, no. Yes! <laughs> Let's get it out of the way. Okay. Let's get so, it out of the way. Um, you move to flank and then and, and you just, just whiff. Like you just, just a misfly, misfire. No, nothing really bad happens. Nothing um, bad happens on a No. Way? I mean, oh. not never, but this particular <laughs> time, no. Oh. Um, but you just, it's just a really awkward, you're, you really hope nobody saw it swing. Uh, you're just way off and it's kind of I embarrassing. Saw it I you saw trip. It. Yeah. I so saw I it's all right though. Oh, I saw it. Uh, I saw it. perception checks to yeah. see if we saw it. <laughs> Quigley, it's your turn. All right, I am going to do a strike at this. Go for it. Right. So, uh, shield first. Two. Glad I got that one. Yeah, I got the, the other way, right? Shield yeah. Bash, not and happening. sword. Seventeen ah. plus my eight. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll damage. Ah. Uh, uh, no, I'm including that. Oh, oh. yes. Um, actually, Jim Jam, I forgot to include one damage on the previous oh, okay. one. Um, so that would have given me eight. Correct last time. All right. Here we go. Ah! Seven plus three plus one gives me eleven points of damage. This is a killing strike. Oh, this thing, wow. uh, you managed to, yeah. it, it ducks well. down. Yes! It ducks down at just the wrong moment, and you seize the opportunity to ram your blade through its face and rip it out, and there's bicker and ooze and nasty lobster meat clinging mm, to your blade. You it. flick it off, and the creature falls dead. Does it scream? Aww, no. Do lobsters scream? Yes. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't make they a whole do lot of noise. A whole lot of sounds. They're in water, yeah. Uh, this leaves us with only one like, lobster left, really surrounded sad. by its foes, <laughs> which include Alex. I'm killing course. it. Get it, Alex. And you're getting. You're you were to add a plus two plus to your two. attack because of flanking. Plus two to my and plus one. And you can add your uh, sneak attack if you hit. That's a seven. Yeah, mm. seven. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. So eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen is enough. Okay. Two d six. And remember, it's 3d6 because you're using your rapier. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, <laughs> Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad for you. Uh, yeah, I'm done describing your attack now. Uh, it's it's, uh, it, it's going to go ahead and attack Crag, I think. Uh, and he's going to hit you, Crag. Does he take out his eye? No, he doesn't. He doesn't take out his eye. But he does deal seven damage uh, as its claws like cr try to crush your shoulder. Grinding it into bone dust, and then it lets go as you. Craig, do you have eyebrows? What? 
don't know. I don't know if at this point he has eyebrows. Still, I think they're still missing. They might oh. still be missing. Uh, <laughs> Marcus, <laughs> do you intend? Do you have a? Do you have anything you want to do? Growing back. A little bit. Um, he took some bites in. <laughs> <laughs> No? Okay. That's fine. Uh, go team! <laughs> that's fine. Uh, Brad Metz is getting anything, swallowed by... Are you by... still with the music? Yes. Okay. That takes us to Craig. It's your turn. Brad Five Metz says getting swallowed by a frog has had a dramatic impact on Marcus. That As I true. think it would any of us. It's, well, remember, just to give an update for those maybe just tuning in, uh, Marcus has never actually dropped below zero before that fight. Really? So that, yeah. Marcus had never taken like more than there was only one time he took severe damage which was against the fire elemental. Yeah. Yeah. Every other time Marcus right. didn't ever take any damage. So oh, Squire Queen what did you been see? knocked out like We'll talk about that. Well, I, saw, I saw a thing and there was stuff and there was a guy and a girl. And so, they were there. Power, yeah, power attacking. <laughs> I mean, hoping yeah. not to hoping not to whiff again. Well, that's always the hope. <laughs> Let's do the exact opposite of it. Okay. 13 okay. plus 7. 20. Yeah, that'll do it. Not too bad. Plus one. Yeah. Not plus too one. shabby. Oh, oh plus it, one, 21. Doesn't his damage itself? Oh, yeah, they, it's literally not possible that oh, you will Oh, maximum kill damage. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Maximum so, damage. So, so, uh, so you take a, you, you line up your swing more carefully this time, and as it's, uh, a, it, Alex stabs it, it I turns its attention hammer. towards her just for a moment, and you take a mighty swing and just crush into its side and lift the thing up. And there's even this, this huge, massive thing. You just lift it up ah. off the ground and it goes sailing, tumbling through the forest, slamming up against a tree, doesn't move again. <laughs> wow. So Jim, in the course of the, in, in this battle where there's so much description besides the times that Alex attacks, where <laughs> there's this icker and, and stuff flying around, yes. is any of this icker stuff it's... near me? No, currently. You've stayed far away from the battle. Okay. So I go and I collect the two closed bear traps. I ask okay. Lady Alex to disable the other bear trap. Okay. Victory noise! Noise! Music! Not noise. Sirenscape indicates that we won. I hope that is the case. <laughs> Victorious. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll catch us next time on Fridays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Facebook.com slash Dragons and Stuff. See you then!